I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. Welcome to my channel. I have been gifted this huge tub of sugar and cream and other 100% cotton yarns. And I don't like letting anything go to waste, so I've been working on using them. I have used the sugar and cream yarns before in the past to crochet dishcloths, so I know that it holds up really well to repeated washing. So I decided to try to make some towels with these yarns. So far I have made three dish towels and one bath towel and I just wanted to show you how I do it and how easy it is to work with these yarns. They're very economical yarn. They're also easy to find. They have them at a lot of the big box craft stores and they also frequently have it at Walmart and you can purchase them on Amazon. And because it is bulky, a project using these yarns will work up pretty quickly so it's a good choice for beginners because you get to see a finished project pretty quick. I pulled out these. I thought they go nicely together. I'm going to use the these two for the warp and then I'm going to use have a green stripe on either side and then I'm going to use this for the weft and then I might add a green stripe also in it. I'm using my Kromsky Harp 24 inch loom and my eight dent heddle. I have two skeins of cream and I'm using sage green and I just have a partial skein of this one. And then I'm using country sage ombre. I'm doing direct warping and my warp is 56 inches. I have 136 ends. So I did 12 ends of the cream and then eight ends of green and then 96 cream, eight green again, and then 12 more of the cream. So that'll give me an inch and a half border on either side and then an inch of the green stripe. I was originally going to just weave with the green and the variegated, but I have some of the cream left over, pretty decent amount, so I think I'm going to take it and do an inch and a half border on either end of the dish towel, and then do the inch green stripe again, and then I'll weave the variegated in the middle. So I wove an inch and a half of the cream yarn I left enough of a end when I started weaving to do a hem stitch. So I'm going to do a hem stitch all the way across, right over to and up to on each of my stitches. I did do the hem stitching on both ends and it measures about 16 inches wide and it's about 25 inches long. And I only used one of the skeins of the variegated and I have this much left and then I have 
this much left from the two balls of the cream and this much left from the green but if you remember the green it was just a partial skein to begin with I washed the towel in hot water. The woven part measures about 21 inches by 15. So it shrunk up quite a bit more lengthwise than it did widthwise. I'm going to leave the fringe on the ends. I think it's kind of fun for a dish towel to have fringe on the ends. Had enough extra that I went ahead and crocheted a dish cloth to go with it. So now I have a nice little gift set. You could bundle them up with a pretty string and make a nice stocking stuffer or colleague or teacher gift. I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.